this feels so odd. Um, hello! <laughs> I'm here. Um, yeah. But I don't know what more to say because I don't know if you can say I'm back because I do not know if I'm back or I'm just here with the video or not. But if you don't know who I am, <laughs> my name is Lisa. I am a cryptography YouTuber that usually put up more videos than once every other week, but now apparently it's not like that. Today I'm going to... God, I don't like even know how to film anymore. This is always like... Uh, geez, the lights. This is always the thing when I haven't recorded for a while. I don't know my setup, I don't know how to sit, I don't know how to do makeup. But okay, I'm going to try to do a video today. And then you know what, it's going to be a get ready with me. Yes again. It's a lot get ready with me right now, I know. But I know that you like them, so hopefully... It isn't too annoying. Someday it might come up something else, but for today I'm going to do Get Ready With Me. I'm going to use this palette. This is the Greek Goddess from Lunar Beauty. I have done a first impression Get Ready With Me with this and I'm going to use it today too. And we will see how this will go. I'm just going to try to do something. That I'm not super sure of yet, but something. So today in this Get Ready With Me, I don't know if I want to talk about like what I have been doing or what's up because I don't really know. I, okay, I know, but I don't know if I want to talk about it. I said that my father is, or my dad, I never know what to say, father or dad is sick and they don't know what's wrong and uh, they still don't know and uh, hopefully we will know soon so that's hanging over me all the time and also i am um, start to think that i'm suffering from i don't know if i want to say the name but you know the sickness that is all over the world when you have had it, you can have like this long-term symptoms. I don't know what it's called in English. And I'm starting to suspect that I have that because I haven't been myself <laughs> since I had it. And I don't know, I'm just so tired and unmotivated right now maybe it's because of other things that's going on in my life or it's the long-term sickness thing I don't know but I'm actually feeling a little bit better um, I can just say last weekend it was one of the worst days in my life Ines, she start to, first of all, all the thing with my dad, I was tired, I haven't slept good for like the whole week. I had my, my period was coming and Ines started to breathe really strange and it was like, I just broke. Like, I, I, w I was lying in bed for I don't know how many hours and just cried and cried and cried and I have never felt so bad in my entire life. The day after it was better, um, but I felt like broken inside. I have never felt that kind of, I don't know if I should say pain. But it was just an awful, awful day. 
Um, so <laughs> I didn't record anything that weekend. And this week I, I've been tired. I haven't been so tired. It feels like it's starting to get a little bit better, but like I was sick in the beginning or the end of December and beginning of January. I think I would be back to normal, but apparently not. But I'm feeling a little bit better. A lot better if I compare it to a week ago. And uh, yeah. Don't know what more to say with that. And I, I never know like how personal I want to be. And how many private things I want to talk about. But I know that I want to talk a little bit about things that are going on in my personal life. Because I know some of you can relate. And it feels like I've forgotten like how to... How to do makeup and how to talk in front of the camera. I'm so sorry about that. It's the same brush. And other things that has happened since I last did a video. My no buy is over. And I did it. I succeeded with my no buy. I can actually check because I had this purchase trackers. Oh my god, my phone. Um, on Instagram. And I can see how much things I bought. We can start with January. I didn't buy a thing. Like, nothing. I didn't spend any money at all on things that wasn't like food, things to the home, but no makeup and skincare and body care, like at all. Nothing. In February, I did... I bought three things. Three replacement things. Okay. What was it I bought? I bought a new face wash. Oh my god, a new face wash. A new... I don't even remember. I, a new conditioner, I think. No. I think February I bought a new face wash and a hair mask and a scalp scrub and that was things that I did use up. Um, so it was those replacement things and in March I bought heat protector and a conditioner. I think it was the conditioner and yeah, but these are the things that I bought. Mm -hmm. I haven't bought anything. But yeah, these are the things that I bought. I haven't bought and nothing else. And I bought some shoes and clothes, but that was never a part in my no buy. So I haven't like counted them. My no buy was with makeup and skincare. And now, today when I'm filming this, this is the 4th of April, and I have bought an eye cream that is a replacement. <laughs> My old eye cream isn't done yet, but soon, and the eye cream i planning to buy was half off, so I was like, okay, I'm going to buy it. And it was just half off the 1st of April, so I did buy it then. And that is the only things that I bought that is for skincare and makeup this year. And that feels so strange. I like don't know how I did this if I'm going to be honest. I have no idea. But sometimes like when I put my mind to some things. Usually it doesn't go good. Like if I'm going to try to eat more healthy. Or I'm going to be a vegan. Sometimes it works for like four days <laughs> and then I break it and like also with a no buy. But sometimes it's just like it's something in my head that just click and I'm like, okay, I'm going to do this now. I am not going to fail with this and I don't know. 
something did happen this year in the beginning and I have actually made it and you know what I need to change my battery now so I'm going to do that so that was my no buy I did succeed and uh, don't ask me for tips on how to do it because I don't know I don't know how I did it actually so I can't come with any tips but um, it was good. And one thing that doesn't... I've always been like, okay, I don't spend so much money on makeup and skincare. But when you don't spend any money, you see exactly how much you spend. Usually spend. Spend, spend. I have saved 50% more per month than I usually do. And this brush wasn't good with this shade. And to realize that, oh my god, that wasn't fun. And I, I thought a little bit how I should continue with this. One part of me is like, okay, I want to keep doing a no-buy to see like how far I can go. Just because now it's like, I've done three months and... Uh, I had one, no I didn't want to use this shade, mm, I took the wrong shade, I thought like this isn't what I planned for, <laughs> I was planning on taking Selena, Selena, Celine, but I took Cirque, 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 Cirque. I took another shade, I'm going to take this one instead, yeah, this looks more like it, I don't know what I will do. Um, I was thinking about if I should like have when I run out of something I can buy something new or if I declutter something like if I declutter a blush I can buy a new blush. I haven't decided if I want to go that way or not but we will see. And for us right now I don't know if I see something I really want. I don't know if I'm going to buy it or not. It is some skin or some base price that I really want, like Milk's new skin, sun protecting skin tint, skin tint, sun protecting thingy majingy. I don't know what it's called. I really want that, and I also want Urban Decay's Hydro. Hydromatic, and I also want one of Nobles Skin Glazing Bronzer shades. Who am I? I don't know, but I saw like a reel or an Insta TV, or yeah, as a clip on Instagram on a Swedish influencer that I follow that has super light skin. And she used it and it looked amazing, so I was like, okay, I want that. And I don't know if I'm going to pick these things up or if I'm going to wait. Because this skin glazing bronzer, she used it as a contour shade and it looked amazing on her and I really want to... I never liked like contour that much. And I do never bronze, but it looked so good when she used it, so I was like, okay, maybe I want to try that. But I haven't decided yet. Maybe I should do like a decluttering first and see if I have some things here at home that I don't want to. And then I can buy the new one with a good conscience. Do we even say that in English? I don't know. We'll see. As you see, I haven't decided yet because... I didn't notice, but like, <laughs> it went to April, and then I was like, okay, what I'm going to do now, because I was going to have a no-buy for three months, and I did it, so now I am like, what? And there also is some skincare that I really, 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 really want to buy, but so far, I, I haven't. 
so that feels good. Even though I was like a little bit afraid of myself, like the 1st of April, I was like, what if I buy a lot of things because I bought the eye cream and I was like, okay, I'm going to buy something more and I was like, no, I'm not going to buy anything more today and I actually didn't. Okay, do you know what? I think this is enough for my eyes, my lids. And like this, to film again today, I'm a little bit nervous about this. I don't know if you don't have a YouTube channel or you are not going to maybe get the feeling, but it feels a little bit like pressure. It feels like you are waiting for something really good. And then I'm trying to do a video and I come up with this. What the hell I'm doing now, I don't know. And it feels like you are going to be disappointed. I know that you're not. But it just feels like that. And it's now I don't know what more to talk about because I don't I wanted to update you on my nobody that I succeeded with and that I don't know what I want to do with it more. And also tell you that I'm feeling a little bit better, at least I have done that for I think it was Wednesday. Um, I talked to my dad and it felt a little bit better after that, so yeah. I'm not 100% yet, but I'm trying to. And I was just talking to my boyfriend before I started to film this, like, I was like in a really good mood and like filming wise, and I did film like four days a week, I think, and I want to go back to that, but like, I've tried to film and I sit down and I look at my makeup and I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like today I, I didn't know what to do. I picked this just to like do something simple. And I don't know if it is because I don't have any new makeup. But one thing, one exciting thing that is happening in my makeup life. The It's Freaking Bats palette with Shroud and Betty Jean. It's finally on its way. I bought it in October and it's on its way, I think it's in LA right now. I'm tracking the shit out of this because I want it. And I... Yeah, I don't know how to say this because I don't want to... Be horrible. Yeah, it's on in, in LA and it's on its way. Don't know how long it will take, don't know how long it will be held up in customs. I know Betty Jean, we have done collab. One collab? Two collabs. One collab. I think one collab just the two of us and then we did uh, Eevee Pokemon Evolution collab. And I've talked to her a little bit and I don't want to throw any shade on her because I know how hard this has been for her to see like people that are disappointed but I feel with Shroud I love Shroud's products but I don't know if and I like want all their palettes and I don't know after this if this is going to be the last time that I will order something from Shroud because it takes so long. I know there is this thing going on in the world right now and I know that they got a lot more um, orders than they were expecting. But at the same time, I have the Arcana palette and I did wait for that. I think that I also ordered, no, I think it came out in September and uh, it was a pre-sale and I ordered it and I think it arrived in the end of January. So it's not only this Betty Jean and I don't... <laughs> Shroud has been around 
for quite some time and I know it's just one woman and she hand presses her shadows but I think she need to be better at planning things like this Betty Jean I had ordered like 500, 5200 or something like that and I know that they are soon going to be done with the orders on it and I don't know but Jean she has over 20,000 subscribers on her YouTube if not even I think it's around 20 between maybe 25 something in that area and I'm going to take this in this video for real yeah I'm already on the way so maybe I should just power through it but and I need my brown powders I think when you're working with smaller influencers I think there is a bigger chance that you are going to sell more like okay as for Betty Jean I think if say that she has 20,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel I think she easily is going to sell to like almost 50% of these people that are following her because I think the demand is like people want to support more when it's a smaller YouTuber because when it comes to smaller YouTubers I think the people that are following are more dedicated and I think they should have known this so it would have been a little bit more smooth I do not regret buying the palette even though I don't have it yet I know that I want it because Betty Jean has an amazing style I love her grungy style she's like inspired me so much and I know that I want it and I would have bought it like however it looked because I know her and I want to support her but I think the shroud would have been better with this and I don't want to like throw shit on Betty Jean or on shroud maybe a little on shroud but I think they should have known like how big it was going to get and like the palette the first when it came I think it sold out in four seconds or something and uh, yeah maybe I will talk a little bit about this in the freaking best palette or maybe I won't because I guess that Betty Jean will see that video and I don't want to I know that she feels bad for people that are waiting so long so I don't think I want to take it in that video and maybe I'm biased then but um, it's just because I I know how bad she has been feeling and I don't, <laughs> don't want her to feel more bad and also like I live in Sweden I am used to super slow shipping and stuff you Americans you should just know how it is <laughs> to not live in the US so that is one exciting thing and I also bought some more things than just the freaking, it freaking bats I bought a shimmer bundle and um, the moon trio and I'm not looking forward to pay taxes on that package <laughs> I can just tell you that because I'm going to have to do that And I don't even want to know how much it will be because I bought a palette from Jessica as well or she ordered it together with me. And yeah, of course, Jessica is going to pay like her part of the taxes, but... So that is like a good thing that is taking so long. Like what if I had to pay the order and the taxes? at the same paycheck that would have been a lot of money and if you don't follow me on instagram 
<laughs> I, I'm, I'm changing subject like I don't know. I do I sit a little bit far away from you? Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. I've started to try to post outfits, outfit pictures on there in my stories and I have a highlight and I have a post like three of them but I like really want to try to I don't know say I want to be more into fashion sounds strange because I'm not like in fashion at all um, but like I like clothes and I like shoes and I'm trying to be I'm trying to like my body a little bit more this year that I have done for a while maybe I don't know if this is going to maybe be a trigger warning no no that sounds stupid but um I'm trying to lose some weight because I just want to and but I'm also at the same time trying to be friends with my body. And I know that not weight is the whole problem because when I weigh a lot less, I felt worse in my body than I feel now. But I'm just trying to be a normal person. Because like a lot of people that post Outfits, outfit pictures and stuff like that on the internet. Me and them, we do not have the same body type, like at all. I don't know if I can use this blush over this powdered face. I will try. And sometimes I feel like I'm in this awkward, <laughs> awkward place. I'm not normal sized. But I'm not plus sized, normal sized. I'm not like, uh, is it called the norm? I'm not like the ideal, ideal size, but I'm not like plus sized. So I'm like in between and it's hard to find inspiration. And also, like, it's hard to find clothes. Um, and I am, like, from my shoulders down to my wa waist, I am small to medium. And then, like, the other half of my body, like, large or XL. And like where <laughs> the bottom, the upper body and the lower body meets. You know when people talk about that they want like a big booty? I'm like no. No you don't. Because you can never find pants. And if you find pants, they're going to be so so big in the waist, so they will just fall off. Just, you know. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm trying to post a little bit of outfit pictures. Okay. Do you see this? Yeah, you have to. I think it looks awful on camera. But it's just like, <laughs> on work, I always like... I have my black jeans on. And then I just have a t-shirt and I just have something comfortable on because at work I have like a sweater on that is like my work sweater so I can't like take outfit pictures every day but I'm trying and now it's going to get better weather outside and it's going to be lighter longer in the day so maybe now it's time to try and does this get red with me all over the place is it useless yeah it might be
And also another thing I want to feature on my channel a little bit more or on Instagram, I haven't decided yet. But like, I want to talk about shoes. I think I'm doing like a shoe collection, um, but I don't know how to do it. And uh, yeah. because if there's something other than makeup and cats that I love in my life, it is, it is shoes. You can ask anybody that just has been to my apartment. Shoes is a super big thing in my life. I have too many shoes. I need to like decluttering my shoes, but I don't want to. But at the same time, I always almost use the same shoes. Just because I'm lazy. And I love like okay i don't know if it's flat forms or platforms i think they are the same things but i like chunky shoes if we say it like that because i'm pretty short and i i have kind of small feet and i just want something big big and chunky on my feet so I have pretty many platforms, but it's like I don't use them that often because I'm usually driving the car and I am not a girl that can drive in high heels or platforms. Some, yes. Others, it's like they are like this high. I can't drive in this because I can't feel like the pedals. Um, so I usually only use my normal shoes. <laughs> then I have like two different shoes in summer and one in winters. So I have a lot of shoes that I don't use, but I want to use. Maybe I should just start to use them. <laughs> Do you know what? Maybe I should fix some eyebrows to the face. So I will actually do that off cam. I think I fixed my eyebrows and put on mascara off cam and something in my wash line. So I will fix that and then I come back. So this is my finished look. It, it did take a little while since the last film because my brother called. Uh, so this is my finished get rid of with me look. I, I like it. It's not maybe something special, but I want to use this more and I feel like this is like the best palettes to use when I'm doing a Get Rid With Me and also I'm so uninspired. Um, so yeah, this works good. I have nothing to complain about this. I think Lunar Beauty does really good eyeshadows actually. And uh, yeah, I don't know what more to talk about. It felt like I lost my friend a little bit there with the call. Like my mom, me and my brother, we talk two times a week over FaceTime. And we usually talk a little bit later. So, but he had things to do. So that's why my brother called earlier. But yeah, I, I guess you don't care. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was all for this video. I... As soon as I like figure out what I want to do with my, if I want to continue no buy or low buy or what I will do the rest of the year or maybe the rest of, maybe a couple of months forward, I will let you know. But I think I will have like, if I'm going to take something new into my collection, I have to take out something old. But we will see because there is something that I really want to buy. but. Like that new bronzer or the bronzer I want to buy from Nobla. I think it's called Amber. Something on A at least. I really want that but maybe I should get rid of one bronzer first. I don't know. But like bronzers is not a problem for me. We will just have to wait and see. I think I will do... Maybe not a declutter, but maybe I should, but I don't know if I have that many new things and I don't know if I'm in the mood to declutter. But yeah, 
One thing though, I'm going to say this and this will happen this year. I have never done a eyeshadow palette collection. I do not think at least. If I have, no, I don't think. And I want to do that and I've been wanting to do that for a real, really long time. But now, since the freaking Bats Palace is on the way, I'm going to wait for that to arrive and then I'm going to do an eyeshadow palette collection. And I think I will do like one super long because that's how I love them. So I will not like divide them into high-end in the drugstore. I will take, well, okay, maybe the most of my eyeshadows are in the brands. So I will do a big eyeshadow palette collection as soon as the It's Freaking Bats. And I feel like I have the energy and the time to record but i hope that it will not take two more weeks it will take more than two weeks because i don't think i will edit this today but i don't think and i don't hope it will take as long as i will see you next time if you want me to do i don't know if i want to do like a lookbook thing on my channel because i'm not that comfortable but if you want to see shoes or something like that please let me know because i will happily show you shoes and also i'm thinking about doing one more <laughs> your weights collection video i did one and, and that video has gone so so good and i just love ear weights and i have got some new Maybe I should have a no buy on ear weights because it's becoming a problem. Like these ones that I have on, they are my newest one. I really like them even though they are so different. But that's what you get when you buy like when it's stones. And they are not heavy at all. And I think they look really like nice. Like if I want to go out on a fancy dinner I can have them. But <laughs> maybe I will do another uh, ear weights collection video but yeah that was all for this get rid with me i hope that everything is okay with you and you are doing good i am doing better um i will try to <laughs> what i feel like right now right now in this exact moment it feels good <laughs> with filming but when I haven't filmed for a long time, it's like I don't know how to do it and it stresses me and it makes me nervous. But now when I do it, it doesn't feel that strange. And it also always feels a little bit strange to talk English again because I do not speak that much English in my day-to-day -day life. I speak some, like some sentences, but now I have been talking for... I don't even want to know how long this video is. Over half an hour, maybe 40 minutes. It always is <laughs> so strange to talk English again because it's not my first language. But yeah, I really hope you like this video and if it's anything you want me to do, please let me know because I am out of idea. <laughs> out of ideas. I am going to do theme weeks, but I just need a little bit more time and a little bit more energy, energy and motivation for that. I'm also going to do some tag videos that I've been tagged in. Angelica Lidemar tagged me one. I'm going to do it. I just have to think about my answers for once in my life. I'm going to do a collab sometime <laughs> I hope that the person I'm collabing with is still up for that and yeah I guess that's all so now I'll just end this here I hope you liked it thank you for hanging out with me it felt good to sit down and play with makeup again I have missed it but at the same time I haven't but I have it's just I got mixed emotions but yeah I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel Please do. I would love to have you here. I really loved you liked this video. Thanks for being here. And uh, that was all. I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.